Hi there folks, how are you going? I hope you're all well. I'm going to just talk very quickly about the Critical Lit Review um, assignment for HSP 404. Now, this is the second assignment for HSP 404 and you basically need to become sort of a mini expert in the area where you are seeking to do your project. And the research that is written out there on this particular topic that you've chosen, you need to have a good understanding of so that you can analyse it and tell us what the gap in knowledge is that you're going to address in your project. So there's quite a bit of reading as I've got this, you know, my crappy little pictures on the first slide. Lots of books. And then the second one is where, it, you know, it's looking at the seven steps of producing a lit review, identifying the question, reviewing um, discipline styles and looking at the literature, managing your references, critically analysing and evaluating the research, th synthesising it, drawing it together and then writing up the review. And of course, that's your final process in this particular assignment. The due date's on the Milo site, as it always is. It's a 2,000 word maximum excluding your reference list and it's weighted at 30%. In consultation with your academic advisor mostly for this assignment, you'll write a 2,000 word lit review of the current research literature as it applies to your chosen topic. So you'll need to find at least 10 articles, chapters, some government documents, that sort of stuff as well. Uh, and you need to reference using a referencing style of your choice as usual. You will need to do quite a bit of independent research for this particular assignment. So you'll need to learn a lot about your topic. Again, a reminder, remember that you can use the resources at the UTAS library, uh, you can use the resources at your police academy library if you've got that available. But draw on those teams to help you find sources if you're really struggling to do so because they will find stuff they're experts in that particular area you need to look at doing a critical analysis of the research so this is underpinned by reading across many sources on one topic and then reporting on the key themes you need to synthesize your sources so draw them together how are they doing things that are similar and different uh, and then write about this um, in your literature review rather than talking about each source individually. So you will need to find sources, again those libraries can help you. Uh, you'll need to use the library databases, you'll need to use Google Scholar and you'll need to you know do a bit more work on websites and stuff like that depending on what your topic is. And then use all of that to inform your response. Using third person for this particular task is definitely preferred. You need to be talking about yourself as though you, you're a researcher, the researcher will, blah, 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 this paper will, blah, 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 that sort of stuff. A useful way to create an academic argument, a critical argument in this lit review is to showcase the gaps in the knowledge base. So basically you're saying this is what we know and this is what is missing. And this is why we need to do more research to fill those gaps, okay? And that's the way you think about your lit review. Think about whether or not you can structure it according to major themes. And I'll give you more advice on that in just a, a moment. And of course, make sure you're including at least two references per paragraph. So some general tips for this particular task. We've given you a series of steps that you might be able to follow for this one. Determine what has already been written on a topic. Not everything. If it's too much, then narrow it down to about the last 10 years. That's a good way forward. Provide an overview of key concepts. Identify major relationships or patterns. Identify strengths and weaknesses in the research. Identify any gaps in the research. So it might all be quantitative survey data and no qualitative research that's been done. Identify any conflicting evidence. So these eight people over here say this thing and you can group them all together like that. But these two people over here say something completely different uh, and they can be grouped over there like that. 
Uh, and of course, provide a solid background to the research paper's investigation. So make sure that you're really saying, this is the reason why we need to move forward with other research in this area. Suggested structure is fairly straightforward. 200 words for your intro as usual, where you're talking about in one paragraph, the background of the topic, very, very briefly, and then just talking in detail about what each section of that particular response is going to talk about. Then in the second part, give your background context. Why this topic now? Now, if you remember correctly, go back to your discussion board post. One of those paragraphs in there should actually answer that question and you'll be able to use that. The third part is your critical analysis of your research literature and this will be about 1600 words all up. This is where you critically analyse your research literature. How you structure this will depend on your focus. The best way to organise it is in terms of those key themes. Uh, this means you need to read across the literature, find and organise it according to those themes. For instance, if you're focused on family violence and policing in a particular area of Australia, you'd probably have a section focused on critically analysing the research that we have in Australia so far. And one key theme in that section might be the factors that stop people from reporting family violence. And you'd need to synthesise the key themes, so discuss how the research is similar or different, uh, within each paragraph in a section. Um, I'll provide you with examples in this video to um, give you a sense of how that happens. And of course, make sure you've got references to research literature to support your points in that particular part. Then you've got your conclusion of about 200 words one paragraph, summarising your main points and your key recommendations about where to from here in terms of the research. And of course you've got your list of references which doesn't count for the word count um, using the referencing style of your choice. It's a good idea to shape this task with your academic advisor. They have a lot of subject matter expertise in this particular instance for this research and they would have written many lit reviews in their time. Discuss the different areas of research that you'll need to draw on for your task alone and then you'll need to discuss how you'll structure your task with your advisor because again, they've got a lot of expertise with this in terms of putting it together. Some basic feedback. Make sure you actually review the research literature and not just write a long description of the topic. Some people have done this and people fail. Think about what two key parts of your existing research literature shows you need to do your project. So, for example, I wrote a lit review donkeys ago, which I'm going to use for an example for this particular video, and uh, it talks about how we need to do research with LGBTI young people and talk with them about their experiences of policing. Now. There was no research, so I couldn't review existing research on this topic whatsoever. So I needed to go and look at other research that told me why I needed to do the project, right? Um, and the three lots of research were, number one, the research on victimization of LGBTIQ people that says that they're more likely to um, spend time in public spaces as a result, leave home, leave school, all of that sort of stuff. Number two, the research that tells us young people don't have the best relationships with police full stop uh, and therefore young people that uh, are queer probably more likely to have crappy relationships too. And number three, the research that tells us that uh, queer folks are less likely to report victimisation to police. Uh, so those three areas told me that I needed to do that research. So that's the areas of research I focused on in my literature review and I wrote it up around those key themes. If you've got research that exists about your topic, then it's even better. You just need to read it all and make sense of it all and divide it up into different themes and then come up with a gap in knowledge at the end. Remember to end by noting why you need to do your research at this point in time. And remember, there is a paragraph about this in your other assignment. Why is this so crucial right now? And this of course will involve some of the context of the organisation depending on where you're situated. Remember to discuss the research in ways that synthesise. It's not Taylor talked about this, Smith talked about that, Reagan talked about this, Stephen talks about that. It's about bringing all of those together, 
We can see that Taylor and Smith talk about these particular types of issues over here, and therefore they're quite relevant and related. And then Reagan and Stephen over here talk about something completely different. They have a different viewpoint. So they're synthesized together. So that's what we mean by synthesis. What themes can you see across all of the research that you find? And how different are the pieces of research? How similar are they to um, each other as well? So they're the things that you can think of for this project. What does the marking rubric say? You obviously need current and relevant research literature to support all of your key points. That's a pretty much a no-brainer, right? Because it is a literature review. Your critical analysis means that you need to have clear, identifiable, consistent critical analysis synthesis across the whole uh, response. You're creating an academic argument about why you need to do this research now. Um, all of your points of relevance need to be noted. So go back to that original paragraph structure, the P-E-E-L, and your L is your linking sentence. High level of integration and synthesis using reading material that's well integrated into the text. Clear and detailed analysis of the key themes in the literature reviewed. You need to make sure your focus is on the research topic and it is well focused, well developed, in depth with detailed and relevant authoritative knowledge. You need to adhere to academic writing conventions. So you've got your introduction, your conclusion, you're following a good format, you've got good clear paragraphs, your expression is clear and concise and you've got your uh, assignment formatted appropriately with referencing consistent throughout. Let's look at some examples. We've got some example paragraphs here from that uh, old lit review that I mentioned before, just to step you through what it looks like. Now, after you have introduced the topic a little bit, then you'll want a really clear roadmap of what you're talking about in your lit review. And this is what I've provided you with here. First, it briefly considers. Second, the article examines. Third, it explores. Fourth, discussion moves to Finally, it concludes by saying uh, that's signposting. It's very, very simple. Please do something like that and you will be totally fine. But make sure you include a very clear outline of what you're going to discuss. This is an example section paragraph where you're uh, making a particular point in a section of your lit review. You can see here that my overall point was the fact that young people from diverse and marginalised backgrounds are subject to policing measures that are seeking to regulate public space in particular. And then I talk about the research that discusses that, and then I link that at the end. While research examines policing experiences of ethnically and other diverse young people, only limited international research looks at sexuality and gender diversity and how that mediates uh, police youth interactions. So that's that linking sentence. It goes back to the overall point. And this is just an example of what a conclusion looks like. We've got a nice little summary of uh, what we've talked about in this particular ar argument and how it links back to the overall uh, discussion point in the lit review. And folks, that's it. If you've got any questions, you know what to do. Just get in touch by email or give us a call and we're very happy to talk you through anything else you need. I hope that was helpful. You have a wonderful day. See you later.